So you want to main Annie, the dark child. Well, you've come to the right place. Hi champions, in this video, we'll be going through Wild Rift's Annie in depth. We'll be going through Annie's abilities and leveling order, spells, combos, builds, runes, counters, and general combat tips. And if you have any of your own Annie tips, please share them in the comments down below. First, ask yourself, why do you want to main Annie? Annie's pros, Annie can summon a giant bear who helps her in battle. This bear can produce massive damage and AoE stuns, great engagement potential and great teamfight potential. Annie's cons, she has no mobility, she has short to medium range abilities and she relies on her bear. Annie has multiple roles, she is a mage support that deals magical damage. Wild Rift considers her to be of easy difficulty and I agree, I find her easy. This is a middle lane Annie guide but she can also be played as a support in the dragon lane. My name is Teeds, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and click the bell for everything Wild Rift. Let's get into Annie's abilities. Annie's passive, Pyromania. Annie's passive is a stun. After casting 4 abilities, the next offensive ability stuns the enemy for 1.25 seconds. You do not have to hit your abilities to stack this passive, it just has to be casted. You can keep track of this passive under Annie's health bar. When there is a purple bar, Annie's next ability will stun the enemy. The stun indicator will be under the enemy's health bar. Annie's first ability, Disintegrate. Annie's one is a line ability type. Fires a fireball that explodes in a small area, dealing magical damage. Killing an enemy refunds this ability's mana cost and halves the cooldown. This also refunds on minions. This is a great ability to spam as a wave clear because of it. This ability has a 4 second cooldown. Annie's second ability, Incinerate. Annie's 2 is a cone ability type. Releases a cone of fire that deals magical damage to all enemies within it. This ability has an 8 second cooldown. Annie's third ability, Molten Shield. Annie's 3 is a shield. She can shield herself or a single allied champion for 3 seconds. This shield absorbs damage. Enemies who attack the shield take magical damage, like a reflect. To shield an ally, you just have to aim your ability on your selected ally. You can also shield it on your bear. This ability has a 12 second cooldown. Annie's ultimate, Summon Tibbers. Annie's ultimate is a pet type slash summoning ability. Annie summons a bear named Tibbers. Summoning Tibbers on an area will deal magical damage. Annie can control Tibbers. Your bear will disappear when it dies or when the timer runs out above its health bar. This ultimate has an 80 second cooldown. Next, the leveling order. For the first 5 levels, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4. Then you want to prioritize maxing out your ultimate for increased damage and decreased cooldown, your first ability for increased damage, your second ability for increased damage, your third ability for increased damage and absorption. So basically, 4, 1, 2, 3. For spells, I recommend Flash for mobility and escapes and ganks, and Ignite for more true damage and anti-heal. Next, Annie's combos. Before we get into combos, a few pointers. Remember that after casting 4 abilities, Annie's next damaging ability has a stun. This means that her first, second or ultimate ability can stun the enemies when the passive is up. Here are different situations you can use to stun the enemy when your passive is full. With your ultimate, summoning the bear on multiple enemies will stun all enemies in radius. This is great in team fights especially, and I strongly recommend saving your stun for this ability majority of the time. With your second ability, the stun with your second ability can be used as a great AoE stun where there are multiple enemies slash teamfights. This is easier to hit but it is shorter range. With your first ability, longer distance, great to use to stun the enemy when they're further away giving you time to get closer to hit your second ability which is shorter range. Remember that killing an enemy champion or minion with your first ability will refund the mana used and half the cooldown. I recommend aiming your bear on your targets. Try to cast as many abilities as possible to get your stun back up during fights. Stunning enemies in your bear range is strong. Remember to shield your bear when needed. Remember that your shield does reflect a certain amount of damage. You can implement flash into these combos to get closer to the enemy. Use your order attacks where possible. With all your combos, you want to start with your ultimate where possible to maximize the damage output of your bear. It'd be best to have the stun sword for your ultimate, so when the bear does drop on the enemy, it will stun them and keep them in range of the bear's damage. Your shield is situational, use it on yourself or allies if they need help or on your bear. So for combos we have 4 and 1, 4, 1, 2, 
one and two or two and one. Next, Annie's builds. Builds are situational and depends on the game you're in. Builds can also change depending on the current meta. My builds are based on what players are currently building in high level ranked. I recommend reading the bonuses of these items in your item builder. Rod of Ages for max health, ability power, and max mana. Infinity Orb for max health and ability power. Ionian Boots to Ionian Protobout for the dash. Rabadon's Death Cap for ability power. Void Staff for ability power. Morellanomicon for health and ability power. This item is an anti-heal item preventing enemies from healing. You can swap out Ionian Protobout for Ionian Locket if you would like a shield for yourself and your allies. Other items you can pick up. Lyandry's Torment for max health and ability power. You can pick up this item instead of Rod of Ages. Luden's Echo for ability power, max mana and ability haste instead of Rod of Ages. Next, Annie's Runes. For Annie's main rune, Electrocute for burst damage. Then for her secondary runes, Brutal for AD slash AP and Penetration, then Regeneration for Resource Health and Mana, or Spirit Walker for Health and Slow Resist, then Pathfinder for Increased Mobility, or Mana Flow Band for Mana. Next, Annie's Counters. Her ultimate on cooldown. She relies on it a lot. Enemies out of range since she doesn't have the longest range. Wards for ganks. Annie relies on surprise attacks to get her damage off. Missing her stun ability since her stuns set up a lot of her damage. Bad positioning can be fatal for Annie since she has no mobility. Next, general and combat tips. You can stack your passive in your base while you are regenerating your health. Basically, just spam your abilities in base so you have a stun ready for your next fight. Use your first ability to last hit minions. It's a great ability for clear. Remember that you can aim your bear on specific enemies depending on what you want to target. You can also aim your bear on objectives as well. Your bear can be used to tank objectives and fights. Remember that the shield absorbs some damage. You can use this on your bear so the enemies will take extra damage when they attack your bear. I recommend to constantly be moving forward while attacking instead of staying in the same place. Shield yourself when going in. And that is all for the Annie guide. Please let me know in the comments down below which champion you would like to main next. I made a lot of other main guides such as Ash, Darius, Blitzcrank, Ari, and Misfortune, which is my recent one. But yeah, if that interests you, I will link them down in the comments below so you can have a look at them if you want to have a look at those guides and learn how to use them. Subscribe and click the bell for more champion guides. I'm planning to release one every day or one every two days. Like the video if you found this helpful. I hope to see you again for the next one. Bye!